In this video, I'm going to talk about paternity fraud. Shop game coming at you with another video from ChooseYourRelationships.com. Off of... Ah, which can be found on Amazon.com. So yeah, um, I, I actually... I get this question every once in a while. The dude said, hey, um, he got a situation where he... He was misled to believe that uh, his son was his, but turned out not to be his. And he said he found out because the little boy got sick. And you know, this is ooh, I don't really there's no solution to the problem like this. There's no solution to a problem like this. This is one of the worst, probably if, I think this is probably the worst situation to be in. You're raising a, 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 a child. You assume that it's yours. Because us as the men, us as men, we have to trust that this child is ours. I mean, come on. We can't. We don't really have a choice. We we, we kind of have to assume that, hey, I'm, I'm laying up with this woman for all this time. She got pregnant. We went to the hospital. Went to the doctor. Following up appointments. She went in the emergency room. Or maybe wherever she had the baby at, you were there. The, ball, the, the baby came out bada and all of a sudden five years later ten years later fifteen years later shh, I don't know a girl that's 21 years old she found out that the guy that raised her wasn't her dad it was her it was her uncle You know, you got some scumbag women out here, man. You got some women out here that... There's a certain group of one, women in society that will do anything to get what they want. Whatever that is. A lot of these women are foreigners. That do, do a lot of these tricks and scams and... Not all of them foreigners, but there's a lot of foreigners that do a lot of this stuff. They they just do whatever. There's no rules. It's whatever. As long as I get what I want. Matter of fact, my cousin had a situation like this three years ago. He, his son was uh, 13 years old at the time. And some, he got sick. I don't know exactly what was wrong with him, but they kept taking, he kept taking him in and out of the doctor's office to see what was wrong with him. So the doctor was like, hey, is, is this any, is this sickness common in your family, whatever? He was like, no, not to my knowledge. So I said, hey, let me take your blood work. And let me compare your blood work to his. Maybe I can come out with something, something that makes sense. We'll see what's really going on. Blood work came back. Say, hey, this ain't your son, sir. And I wasn't there. But I heard the rage that the the rage that 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 he put forth upon this woman. <laughs> I wasn't there. I, I don't know. I can only imagine what he did to her when he went back home. You know, I, they're not married today. I tell you that much. He got a divorce from that woman. He don't even talk to her. Don't have nothing to do with her at all. Period. He don't talk to none of them. He don't talk to the, her family. He don't talk to her. He don't talk to nobody. This is why a lot of there's a lot of guys that's walking around right now. I know some of these guys that said, "Hey, I'm having doubts. These kids really mine." One of them, 
cool. The other one, I don't know. I know guys that's like that. They would rather not know if they would rather not take a DNA test because they don't want want to find out because it might come out that it ain't his son or daughter and now he got to live with that so a lot of guys don't want to don't want no dna tests i know some guys that's like that right now and that's sad it's sad that you have to have doubts like that It's really sad, man. And, and this stuff, a lot of this stuff is on the underground. It's not, not below the surf, not above the surface. People don't talk about it. It kind of, kind of floats around or whatever. Maury, the Maury show was the first show for first platform. I've ever seen talk about this type of shit. That Maury, the Maury show, that's where, that was his brand one. That's how his show got to be so popular. Because he started bringing women on, young women on, and started talking about that they don't know who the baby, who the father is for the boy. And most of the time, them women leave that show and, and still don't know who the, who the father is of the, of, of the boy or the girl. But see, here's a here, but here's the here's the deal. Most of those women were young, and see, a lot of people assume that it's young girls doing this shit. No, it's women in their thirties doing twenties and thirties and doing this shit. It ain't just a 17 or 18 year old, 19 year old, a teenager. No. This is women in their 20s and 30s is doing this. They done slept with so many guys, they don't know who, who the baby is for. <laughs> so they'll put them on, my mom put me on this. They'll put them on the guy that they like the most or the guy that, that, that they know that can provide. This happens. It's more than you think. You know? This happens. You know, so that... You just got to be careful out there, man. You just got to be... Me, personally, I would get the DNA test, regardless. Sometimes you got to put your feelings on, on the shelf. Put your feelings, your feelings to the side. And say, hey, just detach from all the end result... What would happen? What if this? Sometimes you got to put that to the side. I, it's hard, I know. It's hard. But you got to put that to the side, and you got to be like, okay, I got to do this. You know, I got to do this for me and the kid, because this is the right thing to do. You know, forget, forget what she did. Forget what she did. We know she's a, a low down, dirty, conniving, trifling scumbag. But hey, this is about me, the relationship with me, and the kid. Pit, point blank, period. So, because once we find out the truth, then we can, then I can decide what I'm gonna do. Some guys say, "Hey, you know what? I've been around." This this kid for this long, I may as well con continue to have some type of relationship, regardless of how I feel, regardless of what what's been done. And then you got some people say, "The heck with it! I don't want nothing to do with you or the kid or none of y'all." And I'm not mad at them, and I don't think anything wrong with that. I don't think anything wrong with it. I don't think was it is it messed up? Yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, it's messed up. Because the kid didn't ask to be here, man. They didn't ask to be here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, it's messed up if you... If you've been misled to believe that, hey, this is my son, this is my, my, my daughter, and then all of a sudden one day you find out that ain't the truth, and now you mad, you be like, hey, man, 
They come back saying, hey, it ain't your daughter, now you're gone. Yeah, the whole thing's messed up. <laughs> it started off messed up. Yeah. And the only person that's going to suffer is the kid. That's the person that's going to suffer from all of this. The adults, and the, the quote, quote, adults, the mom and the dad in the situation, oh, you know, they'll just you know, shove it off and, you know, shove up your shoulder and keep it moving. She'll go, move on and go to the next guy. And then you got some women that will rub it in the guy's face. Yeah, that's why you, that's why that ain't your daughter anyway. You got some women do that. I've heard stories about that. They'll rub it in the guy's face. You know, they'll be like, this happened to my other cousin. And she never, my cousin, he used to always threaten her. Hey, let's do a DNA test. She was like, no. No. So 10 years go by. The guy that she used to talk to, he just got out of prison. And she living with him. And meanwhile, he still, you know, he, he give her money like it's his daughter. Because he just have to assume at this point because she won't take no DNA test. So, so one day he was like, she was, he was like, she started saying stuff like, that's why she ain't your daughter anyway. The dude that I'm with, that's his daughter. <coughs> well, so he was like, okay, if that's the case, take the DNA test. She said, no. <laughs> so lo and behold, she just came clean one day and said, it ain't your daughter. Because I guess her and the dude on good terms now. Cause he's got out of prison, you know. So I guess, I guess it's been like a year or two. They on good terms. I guess he got his life together. Cause you know when you get out of prison, it takes most people it takes a while, a couple months, could be years before they really get themselves established. Cause you don't know what happened before they went into prison. You know, some guys, most guys aren't organized like that. So she just, so now at least he know the truth. But all these years he giving her money, supporting the little girl like it's his or whatever. So all that flushes down the tube. All that time, money spent. You can get the money back. You can't get the time back. So that's. You got to be a scumbag. Man, that's the, this, this is the worst situation to be in. Some guy said the worst situation is when, uh, is when a woman cheats on No, it ain't. A woman cheat on you, who cares? If she sleep with another guy, that ain't that, that, that. I never really saw that as being such a big deal. You can move on from that. But how you gonna... You, there's no solution... If a woman misleads you to, to believe in that that's your son or your daughter, you can't, there's no solution to that. There's no answer to that. You know, oh, you can be like, oh, oh, just move on. Move on and do what? Move on and do what? If somebody, if a woman cheats on you, yeah, you can move on, find another woman. If she lies and misleads you, and thinking that if y'all was monogamous, it was you and her. Yeah, you can move on that way. But there's no solution to that, to this. If but you, now you thinking that, hey, this is my son. Maybe that's the only child you have. Now you find out you ain't got no kids now. And I can only imagine. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine something like that. Happening to me, man. I'll be wanting to do something to that woman. <laughs> and you know what? If a guy says comes to me and say, "Hey, man, I put hands on her," I'm like, "Hey, man, 
I wouldn't even feel bad. I wouldn't even feel bad. He said, I put hands on. I wouldn't even feel bad for her. She had it, she had it coming. You know what I'm saying? I ain't one of these guys that that I'm not anti -viol anti violence. That's not me. I'm sorry. I'm not I ain't Martin Luther King. I ain't, I'm not anti violence. We live in America. This is the most violent country on the planet. <laughs> Some people say, well, they ain't dropping bombs. Y yeah, they got guns, though. They ain't dropping bombs, but they, they got everything else beside the bombs. <laughs> they got a bomb. They got guns, dynamite, tasers, laser guns, all kind of stuff out here. Some stuff I haven't even heard of that they got. So hey man, those just this is just my thoughts of um based on my experience of the people that I know. And um like this video, share this video. I hope this video will help somebody out. Cause like I said, there's no solution to this. But it's something that people should be aware of, should be talked about more in society. But they don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. Everything is like it's taboo. It's one of these taboo subjects. But you just got to be careful out here. It's like my, my parents is always telling me, watch the company that you keep. And look deep before you leap. So, hey, tell me what you think below. Like the video, share the video, like and subscribe if it's your first time being here. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.